viewers i am dr harsh today we are going to discuss kidneys so kidneys they are, they are two in number right and left kidney so they both occupy epigastrium hypochondrium lumbar and umbilical region so it right and left kidney left kidney is longer and narrower than the right kidney now let's discuss the dimensions of the kidney so it has uh, it is 11 cm long 6 cm broad and 3 cm in thickness 11 into 6 into 3 right now let's discuss its anatomical position for anatomical position we should understand that it has two poles upper and lower pole upper pole lower pole two surfaces anterior and posterior surface and two margins medial and lateral right so medial we have hilum as all, in all the structures like liver i mean lungs right like liver lungs spleen kidney we all have a structure called hilum where the blood vessels pass into this the that particular organ so that lies medially in in case of kidney so hilum lies on the medial margin lateral margin is convex medial margin is concave right upper and lower end upper is broader lower one is pointed but this is not the marked distinguishing criteria it all, both of the ends can be flattened or can be pointed right so anterior and posterior so if we look for the anterior and posterior yes so anterior is convex surface con posterior one is more or less flat but this may also vary both the surface may be flat or both the surfaces may be convex right so what is the main point to distinguish which kidney is right we have to look for the structures in the hilum so the the structures at the hilum they are placed from before backwards as vein this is vein renal vein then we have i will tell you this is vein vein then we have artery then we have ureter so vein artery and ureter so ureter is the posterior most structure so from here we can distinguish anterior or posterior side so we can't hold it towards this if we hold it like in the right side right kidney then the ureter in come in front so this is a wrong so we have to hold in this line so that the ureter should be posterior so it is it becomes of left side right one more thing is important we have to see that the ureter will fall down freely or downwards we can also make it like this posterior ho gaya but there is a kinking of ureter so th this is also wrong we have to hold it in such a way that ureter lies posteriorly and it will freely fall from the hilum so there is there should be no kinking of the ureter then we will confirm that we are in able to hold it in the right correct correct anatomical position so this kidney is of the left side now i will tell you like these kidneys both kidneys they are joined here we have abdominal aorta ivc right so as the renal artery and the renal vein they both are renal arteries a branch from abdominal aorta and renal vein drains into the this inferior vena cava right and right and left renal vein both have different venous drainage right so let's see so first we have to look for nothing but ureter so ureter lies posteriorly see this is the ureter this structure is the ureter it lies posteriorly and is freely if i hold it like this there is kinking so we have to hold it like this we have to hold it like this so this side this kidney is of left side this kidney is of right side so by only looking into the position of the ureter we can tell which kidney is of which side so we have to place ureter posteriorly without uh, with the free fall from the hilum And, and avoiding the kinking of the ureter so likewise this we have two poles upper pole lower pole anterior surface posterior surface lateral margin is convex and median margin where hilum is attached right so so this is the general features how we can distinguish this is right or left let's look into one more specimen this one so first look into the ureter i have placed this is the ureter i have placed ureter posteriorly this way it, there is a kinking so the they are in this side they are freely falling from the hilum so this is of left side this is of right side without looking into the border surface only looking into the hilum we can also confirm then confirm it by this upper pole this is lower pole right upper pole is broad anterior surface 
this one is the posterior surface this is the lateral margin hilum in towards the hilum we have the medial margin right vein artery this is vein abdominal this is the vein v this is a this is ureter vein artery and ureter from the anterior to posterior lesion so this is all about the anatomical position now let's discuss the relations so for relations posterior relations uh, relations on the posterior surface of both the kidneys are same anteriorly it differs why because anteriorly we, uh, the kidneys occupied by different organs right side we have different organs left side we have different organs posteriorly the relations are same let's discuss the posterior relation first the posteriorly i have hold hold i have holded the posterior surface right so this is the impression for diaphragm right then we have medial and lateral arcuate ligament diaphragm here it is also there also is it is also related to 12th rib here we have diaphragm then we have medial and lateral arcuate ligaments right then we have three muscles medially here where i have placed the finger we have psoas major we have divided the lower surface into three quadrants here lies the psoas major in between we have for datus lumborum and last one we have transversus abdominis right let's repeat here we have diaphragmatic impression then we have medial and lateral arcuate ligaments kiske hote hain ye diaphragm ke hi hote hain as i have discussed in my previous video of the diaphragm we have diaphragmatic relations medial and lateral arcuate ligaments of the diaphragm medial here it this surface is related to medially towards the hilum psoas major muscle center we have quadratus lumborum laterally we have impression for transversus abdominis right here in between uh, at the junction of the this medial and lateral quadrate ligaments in the center we have subposterior nerves and vessels right and here we have iliohypogastric and ilioinguinal nerves and vessels so it is related to three nerves and vessels one is subcostal then we have iliohypogastric then we have ilioinguinal right so this this is a posterior relation now come to the anterior relation so towards the left side we have different relations towards the right side we have different relations right so to where towards the right side lies the uh, towards the left side we have stomach gastric area spleen pancreas so these organs are related towards the left side towards the right side we have liver right so likewise superior mosculation in both the cases anteriorly is the suprarenal because at the upper pole lies the suprarenal gland suprarenal then we have gastric impression here right then we have splenic impression here right then we have pancreatic impression here then we have colic impression here then we have jejunal impression here right so this is towards the left side let's repeat 